China is adding new and state-of-the-art ships to the PLA Navy every year and continues to surprise and improve faster than its Western counterparts with new weapons and missiles. On April 19, China's People's Liberation Army Navy released a shocking video clip of an unidentified missile. The missile fired from a Type 055 guided missile cruiser. Most commentators believe the new weapon is an anti-ship ballistic missile and referred to by analysts under the nomenclature YJ-21. If the analysis of this YJ-21 is correct, then China will be the first country in the world to have an operationally launched missile from a naval ship. Now the situation is that the Chinese Navy has become one of the most modern and capable navies in the world. The YJ-21 was launched from the battleship Wuxi, a Type 055 cruiser that had just been commissioned in Qingdao a month before in March. China's second Type 055 destroyer is the country's largest and most advanced destroyer. The Type 055 is regarded as the second most powerful destroyer after the US Navy's DDG-1000 or Zumwalt-class stealth ship. The fact that, if the missile was launched from an active duty ship, indicates that the missile is almost certainly now in PLA service. The new Chinese weapon has small fins and a biconic nose. The missile's small control surfaces indicate that it is not a surface-to-air missile, but a class that requires extreme maneuvering to hit fast-moving aircraft. The YJ-21 was cold launched from Wuxi's stern vertical launch system VLS, which means it was gas expelled from the launcher cell before the missile's own engine ignited once in the air and clear of the ship. Chinese VLS cells can hold missiles up to 9 meters long and 850 millimeters in diameter, so the YJ-21 must fit within these parameters. The YJ-21's performance specifications are unknown at this time. But, its range could be anywhere between 1,000 and 1,500 kilometers. According to the South China Morning Post, the YJ-21 had a terminal velocity of Mach 10 or 10 times the speed of sound. The YJ-21 may have been derived from the Chinese CM-401 missile, which is the equivalent of Russia's Iskander short-range ballistic missile, which has recently been used against Ukraine. When the CM-401 first appeared in 2018, it was said that it would be used on warships in the future. However, when compared to the CM-401, the YJ-21 adds a significant booster. The elongated and tapered maneuvering, re-entry vehicle and short rocket booster were clearly designed to fit inside a confined VLS cell aboard a ship. The YJ-21's sudden appearance is not totally surprising. However, the US Department of Defense anticipated that China would equip its Type 055 cruises with this type of weapon in 2020. The Renhai Type 055 has 112 VLS cells and can carry a diverse arsenal of weapons, including anti-ship cruise missiles, SAMs, torpedoes, and anti-submarine weapons, as well as land attack cruise missiles and anti-ship ballistic missiles when they become fully operational. Apart from this, according to a Congressional Research Service assessment of China's naval capabilities, China is developing hypersonic glide vehicles that if incorporated into China's anti-ship ballistic missiles, could make China's anti-ship ballistic missiles more difficult to intercept. Because of its high speed, this type of ballistic missile, with a large payload, could target enemy capital ships, such as American aircraft carriers, and help overwhelm surface combatant defenses. Any battleship that is attacked by a combination of supersonic cruise missiles and hypersonic ballistic missiles is vulnerable. Because of their long-range weaponry, Chinese Type 055s have become possibly the most lethal warships in the world. When equipped with this new type of ballistic missile, it is unclear for now whether the YJ-21 will be used to arm other PLA Navy vessels such as the recently launched Type 052D destroyer. 
New weaponry, such as the YJ-21, ship-launched ballistic missile, and this air-launched ballistic missile, pose a serious threat to several nations' naval and ground targets. They also demonstrate China's significant advancement in armament, which is leaving the United States in its wake in many respects.